First off, we got the Rocky Mountain Nationals from August 21st to 23rd in Kansas City, Missouri. It's open to all grades, K-12, through and the folk style duels are $700. Individual folk style is $55, and individual freestyle is $45. Trophies are for the regular boys and girls division between 1st and 3rd, and medals are for 4th to 6th. There are approximately 2,500 wrestlers hailing from 40 states. The last day for online registration is on Tuesday, August 18, 2020 at 12 on midnight. Masks are required, so if you're going there, be sure you wear those. It's a pretty tough tournament, so I wouldn't recommend this for beginner wrestlers. The top teams that enter this tournament are Takedown Elite, Titan Mercury, Devil Trev Training Academy, and Valdez Wrestling. Next upcoming youth wrestling tournament is on October 3rd, who's number one. This tournament, unlike the previous one, is invite only. The two best wrestlers in each weight class in the nation fight out to prove who is the best in the country. Lots of future NCAA champs end up at this tournament, sometimes even future Olympian hopefuls. You can watch this tournament on Flow Wrestling with a Flow Pro subscription. It's also hosted by Flow Wrestling various cities usually around in the Midwest. If you're serious about wrestling in college and even placing at the D1 NCAA wrestling tournament, this is one of those tournaments you need to attend. The next upcoming high school wrestling tournament we get the Super 32 Challenge in North Carolina on October 24th and 25th. This tournament is open to all but only the top 32 wrestlers in each weight class are allowed. Those who have placed at higher level tournaments will be given priority to enter the Super 32 Tournament Challenge but those who haven't will be given less priority. In short, if you aren't really really good at wrestling, you're not going to be able to qualify for this tournament. It's usually held in North Carolina and can be watched on Floor Wrestling with a Floor Pro subscription. Next up, we got the 2020 Tulsa kickoff on November 20th through 22nd. It's in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and all entries must be received by November 7th if you are to attend. It's open to all, and it's $40 per entry online only. It's folk style double elimination. Awards are first through sixth, fastest pin, most pins, and best rookie. First leg with Trinity Award and a qualifier for the World All-Star Team and National Youth Rankings. The 2020 All-Star First Team Awards will be presented at this opening ceremony. It's a great stepping stone tournament if you're seriously considering wrestling at the collegiate level. It's open to K-12 through and all information is on the Floor Wrestling website. And finally, we got the 2020 VAC Holiday Duels from December 11th through 12th. This two-day tournament is the hardest tournament for middle school wrestlers and teams. It has 48 all-star middle school wrestling teams from around the country competing in the toughest dual meet tournament of the season. The event which features the best talent in the country, tests the wrestlers' mental toughness and stamina as they compete in 10 matches across a two-day period. This tournament is invite only and is streamed on Flow Wrestling with a subscription. An example of how tough this tournament is, is that Kyle Snyder, NCAA World and Olympic Champion, wrestled here as an 8th grader. His only loss that season was at the Virginia Challenge National Holiday Duels. The 2019 NCAA Wrestling Championships, 5 national champions and 4 national runner-ups wrestled in this Challenge National Holiday Duel as middle school wrestlers.
last you've made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys learned something and are able to go to a few of these tournaments. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below on what to do next, and sub for more wrestling content like this. Peace.